Hello, this is Eric Lawler for Joe.ie. We're in Limerick, the heartland of Munster Rugby, in Nancy Blakes for the latest installment of the Joe Rugby Roadshow in association with Heineken Get In The Game. Tonight's panellists consist of Jerry Flannery, Marcus Horan and Noel Ronan. We just cannot wait to get started. Hardly ideal preparation, Jerry, for Munster losing to uh, Six Nations champions Leinster at the Aviva. What did you make of um, <laughs> Munster's performance? Um, yeah, I think. I think he gets that. Uh, Joe, he's been, has, you weren't around all week, just, just really. there to He lives in London now, you know. Because his send off at the Aviva was so low key, it's, it could possibly be Brian O'Driscoll's final game in the Highland Cup. <laughs> Um, we might as well get a word in. He's, uh, it's been a credible career, hasn't it? And he, Marcus, I suppose. Yeah, it is. It's, um, yeah, he's had a great career. It's, it's, um, he's had a great send off, you know. Um, you know, I, I, you don't, I, I don't think as a monster man, I'm not going to get too, <laughs> too bothered about it. I think he's had, he's had a great day in the sun, and, and, um, you know, I think, um, there's massive respect for him down here. It, that's that's the great thing about Munster people, Munster fans. They respect good quality players. He's a fantastic guy. He's he's done amazing stuff for for Irish rugby, and um, you know, I wish him well and what he's doing. But you know, if if it comes down to Munster and <laughs> Leinster in the semi-finals, <laughs> <f> him. <laughs> Who is the biggest bollocks out of the three of yous? Uh, who has the biggest bollocks? <laughs> who is? Who is? Is? Let me stress that. Who's the biggest bollocks? CK wants to find out there. Well, uh, when Marcus loses the head, he's an absolute bollocks. Is he? He's red, red mist. <laughs> so he's a bollocks. Would, would you agree with that, Marcus? Um, yeah, I probably would have a bad record on that, I suppose. I fought with them all in training, I think. <laughs> right, okay. And a flat? Any, any? Yeah, Marcus a prick. Marcus. <laughs> <laughs> if you were a flavour of ice cream, which flavour of ice cream would you be? <laughs> Hard hitting questions here, folks. Um, I don't know what I'd be. I think Marcus would be blueberry, because he looks like one. <laughs> Marcus would be lard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you love him, because he had a few good jokes. <laughs> F off. Well, my name is Damn Straight, actually. And uh, the question is for all three of the lads. Of all of your former teammates, which one would you leave in the middle of a forest, cling filmed to a tree with their knob covered in honey? <laughs> Should have read that one, sorry, but. God. This is a serious show, you know, it's like a rugby road show. It's not like some sort of weird sex fetish thing. <laughs> and if you were a wrestler, what would be your finishing move? <laughs> the hand job. <laughs> Not an actual hand job, that's what I'd call it. Because I, I build up a lot of PR and a lot of profile. There's this new wrestler in town and he finishes guys off with a hand job. Enough. Sorry, sorry. I forgot, I forgot where I was. And, and you'd, pro you'd probably get that from a blindfolded hooker. Anyway. <laughs> uh, if you were to get a tattoo of either Mother Teresa or Paul O'Connell, what would you choose? Where? Neither. Where do we have to get it? <laughs> Where do you want it? <laughs> Probably put it on my ass so people wouldn't see it. Which one? <laughs> Which ass? <laughs> oh, right, sorry, yeah, yeah. I think Mother Teresa, because internationally she'd be well known if I was on holidays. <laughs> Not that I'd have my ass out, but if you go with Paula Connell, you're always trying to explain that to people. Particularly if you're coming in, if you're in a country where there's rugby isn't that big, it's going to be a lot harder to explain. But Mother Teresa, everyone will just go, yeah. She's cool. <laughs> Put your ass away. Um, Three men to hit. Yeah, any man outside of rugby, anywhere. Just to, to, just George, to take pleasure George, in hitting them. George yeah, Hook, George hit. Hook, George <laughs> Hook. <laughs> that dude in the red jumper over there. <laughs> Uh, uh, for me, Joey Burton, he's an absolute dope. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. dope. Uh, Hitler as well, I'm winning the crowd. Hitler, yeah. I'd get him, oh, I'd give him one. Yeah. Asshole. Peter Classy, uh, we, we, we were uh, in the pub having a few points. Peter Classy's off. 
damaged his hand or something, or I can't remember. And I never heard of you, so you were picked. And uh, we're saying, and Peter's off, we're bollocks. Like, uh, and you scored a try from, started inside the, the Munster at 25, an amazing thing. And there was French guys around us, and they were absolutely astonished. And I said to myself, you know, this is something special. This is the start of Munster, and it was. That's 1999, yeah, isn't it? Right, yeah. yeah, unbelievable. Well done. I think, I think, I think Mark has placed that guy here. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Mark's his dad. So that was the Joe Ruby Road Show in association with Heineken Get In The Game from Nancy Blakes in Limerick City, the heart of Munster Rugby. It was a great night and I think everyone had a great time. The panel were fantastic. Jerry Flanley, Noel Ronan and Marcus Horan. And we'll be back again. Tune in to joe.ie to find out when the next Ruby Road Show is on.